So welcome to another episode of the Virtual Stable Talk. Um, today we have women's ice hockey members, junior goalkeeper Annika and sophomore forward Nikki. Annika appeared in 12 games in the net, making 11 starts this past season. Nikki is assistant captain and appeared in 26 games for the Mustangs. Um, if you guys just want to start, kind of just tell us a little bit about yourselves, how you got to Stevenson, when you started playing ice hockey, any of that, whoever wants to start. Well, I started playing hockey when I was a kid. My Both my parents worked at the rink when they were younger, and so they just brought me into it. My dad used to play ice hockey in college. So that's when I started, and I've played ever since I was, like, like five years old. And then, I mean, I went to Northwood Prep School for hockey, and my friend Kira Collins, she's on the Stevenson Women's Ice Hockey team, too, and she – kind of helped me get here like she uh, opened up that opportunity for me and introduced the school to me and everything and that's kind of how I got here I came visited school I love the team I love the the science programs and everything so that's kind of how I got to where I am now okay what about you Annika um I I mean I started playing hockey when I was like five <laughs> um my grandpa would like take me out to skate on the ponds um and I kind of just yeah I'm from Minnesota so <laughs> that, that yeah. yeah that's just like that's just an interesting concept to me like that I don't know that's yeah just, we're both from BBC. Maryland so like anything yeah. with like ice hockey we're just like what <laughs> yeah it's definitely a different concept out here but well yeah. same concept but um so I, I mean, I skate, I started skating when I was really young and then I joined like the association hockey. Um, I was a forward till I was like 12. Um, I always wanted to play goalie. My dad was, um, the, he played for the Swedish Olympic team as a goaltender. Um, super good at hockey, whatever. Cool. And he told me <laughs> I could never, I couldn't be a, um, a goalie till I was the best skater on the team. So once, once I was the best skater, then I was allowed to be a goalie, which happened when I was 12, so. Cool, cool. What about yeah. both of your guys' majors? What's your guys' majors? So I'm a nursing major. Okay. And I'm psychology. Okay. Following yeah. up on, like, both of you are not from Maryland. Annika, you're from Minnesota. Nikki, you're from New York. Um... What's kind of different about, like, growing up in those states in terms of, like, ice hockey compared to, like, now being in Maryland a little bit? Um, I mean, ice hockey in New York is definitely more common than in Maryland. So, like, a lot yeah. more people, like, you know, follow it or, like, you, you know more people that play it. You just run into people more mm -hmm. often. Um, but otherwise, like, it's not... Like, who are you guys, like, NHL teams? Um, my team is the New one. York Islanders. Okay. Um, Minnesota Wild, baby. Or you know, I did jump on on the um the Vegas Knights. I jumped yeah. on their bad bandwagon when they uh when they came out a few years ago. So yeah, yeah, I jumped on Vegas for a little bit too, honestly. Yeah, but you know, there's that whole curse thing where you if your first team or first if you if you make it to the pl like playoffs or the Stanley Cup your first year that you're a team, like you won't go for the next twenty. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so obviously we're doing this online because of the whole pandemic so what have you guys been doing to keep busy i know before we started we heard that you guys still have team workouts five days a week what else are you guys doing besides uh some binge watching um i i'm still in maryland so there's not much for me to do I mean, I guess I'm not like with my family or anything, but I've been, I bought a Nintendo Switch and I've been That's, nice. like, that's nice. what the men's ice hockey players told us last week that they bought Nintendo Switches too. Yeah, so I've just been ripping in my Nintendo Switch just playing <laughs> games. What games? Um, well, I just finished Pokemon. It took me 27 hours. Oh my God. Um, and I'm playing Animal Crossing now, which is like a big. Thing, so. Yeah, I yeah, heard. My, I friend, heard that my friends right been now. playing Animal Crossing too. Yeah, it's so so much fun. <laughs> I'm like addicted. 
What about you, Nikki? Um, since I'm home, I've been doing a lot of family stuff. So like we play yeah. a bunch of card games, board games. Yeah. We did watch um all the Marvel movies in chronological order. So we just oh finished God. that. Okay. How long did that take? Um, well, we would only watch like one or two a day. So honest, I think it took like two or three weeks to do it, like when we had time and stuff like that. But first, um, segment team superlatives. Jay, if you wanna start it off yeah first all right so yeah this could be any stevenson woman's ice hockey player any coach any trainer any anyone involved with stevenson woman's ice hockey first up we got most likely to plan uh prank a sleeping teammate on the bus i feel like casey stork yeah that's who i would have went with yes. too <laughs> <laughs> that girl refuses to sleep on a bus so mm-hmm. she goes like when we travel to like mass or new york and we're on the bus for like nine eight nine hours she literally goes like stir crazy and the rest of us are sleeping <laughs> she's like tapping her feet looking out the window trying to watch a movie not watching the movie asking people if they want to play card games <laughs> <laughs> that's funny all right um who's most likely to be late because they stopped to get coffee coach tori <laughs> <laughs> I, like, you guys ever seen that meme where it's, like, uh, the person showing up late with the coffee that made them late? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good story. That's fine. I feel like, I mean, we're, like, we're, like, very, 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 like, crazy or, like, strict about being on time. So, mm-hmm. like, our, um, like, we show up to everything, like, 15 minutes early. Like, if you're not 15 minutes early, like, we're all, like, calling you and freaking out that you're not there. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> Most likely to survive and win the Hunger Games. I feel like yeah. Ange can definitely, like, she'll be, like, the underdog, but I feel like she can, like, she's scrappy. Like, she'll be able to, like, come out with the win, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to become Instagram famous. Me, one hundred percent. I agree. <laughs> I said I get bagged from my Instagram all the time, or like social media in general. Are you posting so. like all the time, or do you like care super about it? I I, w- I would say I did for a really long time. I uh-huh. think this year I've been like way better about it. I've definitely <laughs> been more like present. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, before definitely one hundred percent. It was like my I feel life. Like I, went, I feel like I went through a phase too, where like I I cared a lot about social media and I was like on it all the time. Yeah. But I've definitely phased out of it a little bit. Me too. I'm trying to like keep my screen time down, but oh my god, my screen time right now when I w- do you guys get the notifications on your phone yeah. on Sunday mornings? I wake up and I'm like, oh my god, I can't look at that. That's embarrassing. I justify it because I take away, like, four hours because I spend so much time on TikTok. It's, like, not even funny. I downloaded TikTok, like, two weeks ago, and I'm, like, obsessed with it now. Yeah, it's crazy. You can spend, like, hours on TikTok. Yeah. I woke up and yesterday morning, and it said that I – this is so embarrassing, and I can't believe I'm going to share this. Mine said seven hours a day. I'm on my <laughs> phone. Wow. I was at five. I think a lot, like, I watch Netflix on my phone sometimes, so, like, I justify it with that, so. (laughs) Beyonce just dropped a music video. It's poppin'. One of your teammates is just casually dancing in the background, but they, like, didn't post anything about it. Like, you just checked the Beyonce link, and out of nowhere, bang, who is it? Just, like, literally just casually in the Beyonce video. Who would it be? Mary Rose Carter. A freshman. Yes. Oh, yeah. Is she yeah. a that dancer? Girl, that girl could outdance Beyonce. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's amazing. Does yeah. she does she dance in the locker room and stuff? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Wanna be in, in a Beyonce music video? <laughs> I like was watching TikToks of people doing the Beyonce dances and I was like, I could I would literally look so stupid if I tried to do that. <laughs> we have a girl on our team who's like crazy about her TikTok dances. 
<laughs> it's me and Nikki. Call her out. Right. Expose her. Elizabeth yeah. Gardrolo. <laughs> Let's go on to our next segment. Just some Q and A's. Um, so if there was one item on your bucket list that's ridiculous, what would be on it that you would want to do before you died? I think mine would be swimming with dolphins. I've always wanted to swim with yeah. dolphins. I want to no do that too. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I want to do that too. That sounds like so much fun. I kind of would be scared though. <laughs> of what? I don't know, like them biting you or something. The dolphins bite. <laughs> I don't know. Do they? What I used to um, I used to work at the beach and as a lifeguard, and we would do like these mile swims. And one time mm -hmm. we were swimming, and I like looked to my right, and a dolphin was like an arm's length away from me, and they smell so bad. Like, really. I could Smell it. I could smell the dolphin before I saw it, and I I like freaked out. I was like flailing in the water. I was like, oh my god! And I like went straight to shore. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> but I feel like non wild dolphins, so I don't smell, or like trained dolphins, so I don't smell. But this one really scared me. Well, first at first I didn't know what it was. Like I didn't know if it was a shark or a dolphin. Mm -hmm. But then I saw like a whole pot of them. I was like, ah. It was really scary, but I do want to swim with dolphins. What about you, Annika? Um, doesn't have to be like super realistic, does it? Like, no. it could be no. at all. <laughs> um, dr my dream, if I could, if I was able to, I would totally climb Mount Ever Everest. Oh yeah, yeah that's realistic. That's you could do it. That's kind of people do it. Yeah, but not me. <laughs> no way. You Dude, I can barely swing. make it through. I can barely make it through preseason running. No way I can. Climb <laughs> you could climb something comparable. Yeah, but Mount it wouldn't Kilma, be the same. Kilimanjaro. 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 Climb that. That's just people climb that, and it's not cold. Like that's a big yeah. mountain, but it's not snowy. I guess I don't know. Yeah, that's a cool goal though. People like train the whole lives for that. I know. I'm behind. Gotta... <laughs> Maybe that's post grad plans. Yeah. Post yeah <laughs> post athlete plans. When... <laughs> All right, next one. You guys can take this two different directions here. So it could either be um, one movie you can quote start to finish, or one album you can quote start to finish. You can go two different directions with this one. Um, I have two movies. Okay. Okay. So, um, Napoleon Dynamite. Classic. And yeah, a Christmas story. The Christmas story. Yeah. So my mom. The one with the Shrooges. No, no, no. This is like the one with. Um... Oh, where he sticks his tongue on the pole. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought that was. That's funny that I you can that quote was... that. I thought that was Home Alone. No, no, no. I um. <laughs> My mom, every Christmas that I've lived at home for 18 years, when there's like a marathon on, on AMC that when it's like the on Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve day, they run for 24 hours a Christmas story. And she will not let anyone change the channel. Oh my God. So it That's stays funny. on for 24 hours. And then I would watch Napoleon Dynamite with my mom for like, like twice a week growing up till I was like 14. <laughs> That's amazing. What about you, Nikki? Um, so for me, one movie is um The Princess Bride. So like m growing up, my family like we watch it all the time, and we still watch it now. But um on the bus, we um Jamie brought it, and almost the entire team hates it, except for what's the, coaches. Is, what's the, is the Princess Diaries a thing, or am I? That's a different movie. <laughs> yeah, that's a different Princess movie. Bride is the one with Han or Anna. What is it? Who's the main character? In I don't that? know. I've never seen it. Um, it's oh, a, Anne it's Hathaway, a right? Movie. Yeah, Anne Hathaway. Is that the Diaries yeah. or the Bride? That's, that's diaries. the Diaries. Oh, I Which do one's... know what the Princess Bride is. I just googled it. Who's in that? Long and boring. Um, it's an older movie, and it has like really cheesy, corny. 
like yeah human I've seen parts of it mm-hmm. like it's not like a movie where you're gonna go and like look for like action it's like literally mm-hmm. all like comedy and like all yeah. like stupid stuff in it it's really I <laughs> really like it. <laughs> what's your guys' oh. biggest peeves I have so I have so many <laughs> I literally Thank don't you. leave I don't leave my room because I can't stand people ask Nikki <laughs> That is true. She doesn't leave her room at all. <laughs> <laughs> I would say What's my number my, one. My number. Well, I I have two that are tied. One, my first one is people like chewing with your mouth open. Okay. I can't. And then people who like drag their feet when they walk. <laughs> I know that's those super are, weird. Those are both very important. Those are yeah. Really drag your feet. Yeah, like and they make that sound. It's like mm-hmm. a drag and then a snap. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. there's someone I went to high school with that, like, I can just picture dragging their feet, and I can just think of it. Also, people who, like, not just, like, their mouth open while they're chewing, but, it's, like, I can hear them chewing. Yeah. It, like, puts me in the worst mood. God. I can't, I can't even think about it. Like, I literally <laughs> can't. <laughs> Nikki, what's yours? For me, it's when I'm, like, having a conversation with someone, and then they look at their phone, and they totally, like, ignore what I'm saying to them, and, like, don't even, like, know what's going on. And miss, like, a whole story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, so, like, my one friend, Liz, does this to me all the time. So, like, (laughs) in the middle of a conversation, like, we're going back and forth, and then she looks at her phone, and I could say anything I want to say, like, at all. Like, it could be the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> she would have like, no idea. Uh-huh. <laughs> I yeah, feel like I'm, like, I'm actually happen. probably guilty of that. I've I'm literally watched it happen, and it's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> House is on fire. You grab the pets. You grab the cash. You can go in and get one thing. What are you grabbing? My makeup bag, 100%. Fast answer, answer, I like it. Makeup's expensive. Yeah. For me, it might be my record player. <laughs> really? Right. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's a that's, yeah, a, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What yeah. are, yeah. like, some of your favorite cool. records? Um, so, I have, um, I have a John Denver one that I really like to listen to, and I have Grease, um, for Secret Santa this year, my uh, my Secret Santa Taya, she got me a um a Disney one because I love Disney movies. Oh my gosh, she got me a Disney that's so one. cool. So those would probably be like my favorite ones. Where did you get your record player from? Um, like, is I it got an it old from one. This. It oh, it's okay. a newer one. Yeah, I always see like record players for sale on um UrbanOutfitters.com. And I always wonder if they're, like, legit or not. <laughs> I've, like, considered buying one just for, like, just for, like, show. Mm-hmm. Okay. Consider buying um, a lot of things. Huh? So you consider buying a lot of things. If it's, yeah, like, a game day and, like, we have, like, an hour or two to kill before, like, going to the ice rink, like, we finish for the day, I'll just look over and Macy's got, like target.com or yeah open <laughs> I have, like, or something. so many tabs open on my computer but then I end up not buying like anything or I'll sit there throughout the day and I'll tell our whole office I'll be like so I was thinking about buying this and then I just never do what did you what did you talk about for a week straight a cactus oh yeah someone bought a cactus <laughs> Told us and I talked about like buying a- the iPhone 11 for like three months until I actually bought it <laughs> that's valid though that's yeah. really valid Phones yeah. are a whole different thing. They're 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 like a six year commitment <laughs> to pay oh, off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. If there would be if there was a movie made about one of you, what celebrity would play you, or what celebrity would you want to play you? It can be like any time frame. So like she can be like forty years old, and it doesn't matter. I don't know. This I is a tough know. question. <laughs> Oh, I, duh. Jennifer Anson, duh. Oh, yeah. That's a good nice. answer. Nice. She's nice. Duh. <laughs> cool. you know, I, I really don't know about this one. Who do you, what movies do you like that, like, play main characters? I don't know. I like, I like a lot of movies. Like, I just, like, I like watching movies. Yeah. But 
I don't know, I feel like I like watching the movies more than I like I actually like pay attention to like the people playing. If someone's, you know I mean? if someone's doing good yeah. acting or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna move into some Stevenson Woman's Ice Hockey trivia here. So we start off with maybe an easy one. Who was the inaugural game against in two thousand twelve? <laughs> you do you want like options? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll go A, Lycoming, B, Buffalo State, C, Utica. I feel like it's Buffalo State. Yeah, it's Buffalo State. Yeah. What is Coach Tori's favorite NHL team? Well, don't disappoint her. <laughs> All right, we'll go. We'll go. A. Philly Flyers. B. Capitals. C. Tampa Bay Lightning. Or D. The Vegas Knights. Tampa Bay. Yeah. All right. Um. When Coach Tori was little, what did she want to be? A. A cheetah. B. A caterpillar. <laughs> C. A figure skater. Or D. A ballerina. Caterpillar. That's right. Oh. Yeah. oh three for th- Annika was three for three there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was looking at like her 2012 roster bio, and they had like kind of like questionnaires, and it was like mm-hmm. really random. Wait, questions. let's hit it's- let's hit them with a let's hit them with a bonus question. Um, if the most Coach random Tori- answers. If Coach Tori right. didn't want to play hockey, what sport did she want to play? And then we'll tell you the reason why. Oh, God. Um. It's an, I'll give you a hint. It's non-traditional for a female. Football. Yeah. Yeah. She said right. football because she likes to stir things up. <laughs> <laughs> Her, and I suggest go looking at it because her answers were like hilarious. The Donald oh, Trump steak one. Yeah, she, she, one of her one of the people that she would want to um, eat a dinner with, fictional past, present, whatever. One of her answers was Donald Trump because she could get a nice steak out of it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. All right, so terrible. we're just gonna wrap up by if you. E- Having you guys tell like a funny story that happened over the last season that some people may not know about. That like really like sums up the women's ice hockey team. Yeah. The men's ice hockey team told a story about how in the fall time all everyone on the team played capture the flag around the campus. So like anything like that or like a funny bus story, traveling story. Or happy and, story. Happy story, whatever. Should we tell them what our walkout song is? I feel like that's a good good one. Yeah. Like, in the locker room? Like, between periods? Mm-hmm. So, between periods, like, when there's... when So, we, like, go out at a minute to get down yeah. the ice. Um, And so, we'll line up at, like, I don't know, 120, 125. And everyone's, like, lined up in number order, because that's how we go out. And, like, we'll blast... um. Sexy and I know it. <laughs> nice. That's a classic. Yeah, that is. Yeah. But is that playing just in the locker room? Yeah. 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 Not That's playing funny like that. <laughs> I think another really good story from this year was when um, it was the middle of Jan term, and you know, like our bodies were run down, we were tired, and everything, and coach sent out a text like the night I think it was the night before maybe it was early that morning saying that you like be at the rink at a certain time make sure you have uh running clothes and sneakers and and then she said make sure you like don't eat anything before you come so like we're all thinking we're going out on the turf we're gonna run and we're all gonna die and everything and we um we're in the locker room we're all like sitting there like nervous or all like antsy like we were like what are we doing thought you're in and trouble coach, uh tori and coach megan walk in the locker room with chick-fil-a for breakfast and we went and played laser tag 
and um then we did mini golf right after oh yeah i remember seeing all the stuff on like your guys's instagram story it looks like so much fun mm-hmm. yeah, i no, knew I that's really where you're going that. with that story too that's funny <laughs> That sounds like a lot of fun. That's cool that you're I haven't played laser tag in so long. Especially during, like, um, in, like, intercession and stuff. Mm-hmm. All that training and stuff. Yeah, that's that's a lot of fun. I like that. Come to our games next year, everyone. Yeah. I'm supporting you. Here. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. thank you guys so much. Yeah, thanks for your time and everything. Stay safe. Um, you too. Quarantine. Yeah. Hopefully this all ends soon. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully everyone will be back on campus in the fall. Good luck with your Animal Crossing. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> all, right. all right. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, Bye. thank you. Thank you.